hello, I'm Eileen Wood, and this is Bag Lunch. Let's get to the point. The point being Petty Point. Today, I'm going to show you a selection of handbags from the 1950s and 1960s, and all of them feature Petty Point detail. Now, what is Petty Point, you might ask? Petty Point is teensy weensy little needle point and it is stitched typically by people abroad, usually in France, usually in Belgium, and it is a means of creating tapestry. And Petty Point is a very specialized, very detail-oriented means of needlepoint. And if we look here, you will see exactly what I mean. This is tiny little needlepoint stitches. And I can't even imagine how the people who made this accomplished it. I believe it was done by women. And it may have been done, as I said, in France and Belgium, possibly in China. And these are handbags that have inset details made of Petty Point. All of the bags I'm showing you today come from a manufacturer whose name was Burger Bags and their insignia was a BB. And each of these is exquisite and detailed, and they were probably very expensive at the time that they were purchased, and they were likely available only in the better department and specialty stores. So this is the first example. And what I love about it is this unusual shape. It's almost like an arched um, stained glass window. It really has a beautiful effect. And additionally, it's got a very pretty closure. I like this next example because it feels almost modern with this circle and this almost elliptical shape. It almost reads like an eyeball. And once again, tiny little stitches. This handbag is what's called a box bag. And by that, I mean it's got a boxy shape. And we will talk about box bags on another program. But today, we're focusing upon the petty point detail, which in this case is a garland of roses. And it's set into a circular frame on the front of this box bag. Here's a bag that has an unusual detail in that it's got two diamonds that are set in an inseamed line, and it creates a really lovely effect on this top handle frame bag. This is a bag out of kid suede. It may actually be antelope suede, and it's a very, very fine material that is very delicate and black and very soft. And unfortunately, the black dyes on these antelope and kid suede were not particularly stable. So if you find these bags today, very often the black dye will come off on your hands. It's an effect called crocking. And it's because the dyes were not particularly stable and they give off almost like dust when you touch them. The final bag today is my favorite of the lot. This one too is a box bag defined by the construction that's boxy, but this one almost reads like the binding of two large volumes. It almost feels like a, two books that are standing side to side on a bookshelf. At least that's what it reminds me of. So once again, let's get to the point. Today we looked at Petty Point handbags from Burger Bags and if you look for these bags online, you might also try to, uh, try to look for the letters BB because that's the initials that appear within the bags. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of Bag Lunch. Please join us tomorrow.